So tonight, with a new Iraqi government in place and following consultations with allies abroad and Congress at home, I can announce that America will lead a broad coalition to roll back this terrorist threat. Our objective is clear. We will degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL through a comprehensive and sustained counterterrorism strategy. Well, we'll see First. about that, won't we? Dr. Jeffrey Warrow, director of the UNT Military History Center, author of Quicksand, America's Pursuit of Power in the Middle East and other respected works. If we're going to beat these guys, it's going to get messy. You don't just stand and lob missiles at them from afar and expect to defeat them, do you? Yeah, good point, Tim. I mean, it's going to be very messy, and I think the president was... He was being probably a little bit too optimistic when he said destroy. I think he really means degrade, and I think that's the objective here. They've grown so, they've gone so far so quickly, there's a need to roll them back. And I think the real U.S. objective here is going to be to shrink the territory they control, decimate their forces to the extent possible, and arguably most importantly, cut off the funding from the Saudis, the Qataris, the, the UAE. You know, they're getting all this charity funding because they, you know, the Saudis and the others see them sure. as a stand-in. Uh, against the Shia movement you know, that's crossing Syria and Iraq. So if we can cut that off as well and stand up a more moderate Sunni force that will reject ISIS, I think that's the objective. Do you see any issues with going into Syria? There's basically, there's, there's, there's no effective, well, there is a government in Syria, but it's not very effective right now. Can we just kind of lob a few missiles, launch a few airstrikes inside that part of Syria? With yeah, I think that was the $64,000 question. The, the elephant in the room at the speech is that uh, there's no defined strategy for Syria whatsoever. Even the president seemed to be, was very vague on the subject. Uh, we don't know really what to do there because, you know, to, first of all, ISIS is actually a tactical ally of Bashar al-Assad. They're fighting al-Nusra, the al-Qaeda faction, because ISIS is at war with, with uh, al-Qaeda, trying to become the principal brand of Islamic extremism. So do we if, we, if we, if we fight ISIS, we might actually earn the wrath of Bashar al-Assad. On the other hand, by fighting ISIS, we also strengthen him because we remove a potential rival from, for him. So I think the idea there is going to be just try to locate logistics centers, locate, you know, locate critical headquarters of, of ISIS inside Syria and hit those, but not have an extended campaign. Plus, there's the risk that if we do attack into Syria, will be counterattacked by the Syrians with Russian weapons. We'll right. see this as an intrusion into their airspace and their territory. Right. It, it, it gets extremely complicated because now there are some Iranian militias now. And, it, you know, and, and your head almost has to spin trying to keep track of who is on whose side in this part of the world. That's, that's the problem that we run into. We're, we would love it if Turkey, a U.S. ally, would get involved. There's a downside to that. We'd love it if Saudi Arabia got involved. There's a downside in that region to that. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And the, the growing role of Iran inside Iraq has been most troublesome to the Saudis and the Emiratis and the Qataris and all these other groups because they see that, they see that you know, Iran has essentially annexed Iraq since the, our invasion of Iraq. And so I think the president's effort now is to send Kerry over to meet with the Saudis and the other groups in Jeddah and try to concert some Sunni opposition that will promote moderates to push back, you know, the, 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 to push back ISIS, but also in, insert a moderate Sunni movement there that will replace ISIS without a Shiite intervention. Finally, and, and very quickly because we're out of time, do you have any hope the Iraqi military will get its act together? Well, you know, the new government doesn't have a defense minister yet. They don't have an interior minister yet. So the, the, this partner we have in Iraq is not a partner at all. We can only hope that they'll sort of come together because the threat of, of extinction will, will, will force them to get their act together. But that remains to be seen. In the meantime, I think our goal is just to sort of shrink ISIS, push them back, and win some breathing room for whatever Iraqi government emerges. We'll stay tuned. And uh, you'll Got about six more books in there somewhere, probably, <laughs> yes, no doubt. At least. <laughs> more from Dr. Warrow when you uh, go to the link we have on myfoxdfw.com. Thanks so much. Thanks, Tim.